Hey, what's going on YouTube? You just so happen to catch me sitting down and my phone's recording. So what a coincidence. This video is gonna be a quick clarification of a clip that I did with Rich from Rich Rebuilds, my homie, of me fixing his iPhone 11 Pro Max at the end of his video that he just released um, that you can look for and you can find in the comments. I do advise watching the entire video. It's hilarious and it's also very informative. Um, so at the end of the video, I'll summarize it. I replaced his 11 Pro Max screen and it gave him the non-genuine screen message that it gives every um, iPhone 11 and up. So some comments were saying that you can remove the non-genuine message. Um, and yes, it's technically possible, just like building a V8 Tesla is technically possible. Is it realistic? No. Not when you run a busy repair shop with 10 phones on your bench and a full waiting room of people that needed their stuff fixed yesterday. It's not realistic. So the method to do that is to take the old screen, the original screen, you have to Dremel off the cover of the IC, the original touch IC. It has all the data of the, the screen, the serial number and all that stuff that's paired to the motherboard. So you have to drill off that cover and then you have to unsolder it and then you have to reball it with new solder. Then you have to take the new screen, you have to unsolder the chip that's in the new screen, then solder on the new chip and then test it to make sure everything worked. And if you mess it up, you know, use a little too much heat or whatever, you just damage your screen, that's it, you're out 150 bucks on a repair that you made like 40 bucks on for labor. So yes, yes, it's technically possible. That wasn't the point. The point was, Apple doesn't have to do this. Apple authorized shops don't have to do this. All they do is replace the screen with a new genuine screen that they can buy, and we can't, and then they program it using the software that they have access to and we don't. That was the whole point of the right to repair bit that we did, that it's not fair that Apple doesn't have to go through these crazy hoops to repair a phone, but we do. Independent shops have to go through all that stuff, and it's not fair. Um, so the second thing I wanted to address was other comments that are saying, oh, you can buy Apple parts because Apple has the self-repair program now. You can buy genuine screens and batteries and all that stuff. Yes, that's true for every iPhone that's made after 2020 which is only a few iPhone models. It's the iPhone 12 models, the iPhone 13 models, and like the iPhone SE 3. Most people, I would say 90% of people at this point, come into my shop with an iPhone that's older than the 12. Okay, we usually don't see iPhones um, until about three years or so pass when they start coming and we'll start to see that iPhone model. So I do expect to see the iPhone 12 soon. Anyways, you can't buy a screen. You can't buy any parts for the iPhone 11 or the 11 Pro Max. And that's what Rich had. So my point stands. I can't buy that screen for that model. One more thing. People were saying, oh, just don't buy Apple products. Well, Samsung does the same thing. I still can't buy genuine parts from Samsung unless I'm authorized. Right to repair will make them provide us parts for every model phone every single model. They can't pick and choose what parts they, they want us to have. And that's the point. And also what components they want us to have. Um, so the fact that this component costs $6 and Apple charges 290 bucks or something like that to, to fix that on your screen, on your iPhone X or whatever, that's not right. No, Mikey, no, no, Mikey, that was so not right. I should be able to buy that component individually and reprogram it with the software that they have. So that's it, I just wanted to address that real quick. Um, go ahead, watch this video, like it, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, Rich is a cool ass dude. And we do have other stuff planned, so stay tuned. And I am going back on my vacation. Peace.